And we're back. And so two things have happened. First, I've put on a hoodie and made myself a cup of tea, gotten nice and cozy here. And second, perhaps more interestingly, um, we finished applying our resources and creating all the services we need to, to use Mage uh, with Google Cloud. Um, so we're going to walk through how to access those services and show you exactly what we made. Um, so I'm going to switch on over uh, to Google Chrome. Um, where I have my Google Cloud project open. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Cloud Run to see what's, what's happening here. So you'll notice there's something in Google Cloud Run that wasn't there before. It's actually the name of the resource that you created. Um, so we can click into this and look at all sorts of details about uh, exactly what we're looking at. And you might notice a URL. Um, and so if I go over this URL, uh, whoop, we're getting a page not found on the server. Uh, so. The other thing to note is that by default, um, access is going to be restricted to these services. So what we have to do is whitelist our IP to be able to access uh, those resources. So we're going to do that right now. In the networking tab, you can see um, we have an internal uh, traffic uh, limitation. So to get around this for now, I'm just going to allow direct access. Um, and then I'll drop a link to how you can add a whitelist your IP so that only you can access these services. But if I uh, save this, we'll see it redeploy. Let's refresh this. Boom. We have Mage. Um, if you want to help improve Mage, please use, use the statistics enabled. I'm not going to because I do this quite frequently and I develop a lot, so I don't exactly want that to happen. Um, and yeah, th so this is a, a new, brand new default repo. Uh, default repo being the name of the project, instance of mage, um, blank slate, you can develop in here. It's going to persist to Google Cloud because we defined a file store um, instance where you can, you can um, uh, which is storing the file system for this project. So even if you stop this project and you start it back up, everything will still be there. Um, yeah, I mean, you can, this is a blank slate. You can build whatever you want in here and it's going to exist in the cloud. So if you schedule jobs, as long as it's running, it's going to execute the jobs for you. And this is, you know, the whole point of local development is to create things that you can then deploy to the cloud. Now you might be saying, Matt, we just created all these resources. Why aren't they here? How do I develop this locally? Well, there is a way. Um, and the way is through version control um, or get, get sync functionality. And so there are a number of uh, ways to use version control in Mage. I'll link you to the documentation there. Um, but the best way to um, develop and then deploy a repo um, uh, to, to the cloud would be to use some sort of git sync um, functionality, which Mage has a number of. So there's some git settings. I'm going to drop a link to how you can set up git if you wanted to do that sort of thing. But what that would look like is basically developing in a local environment like we have been doing this entire course pushing that to a GitHub repo, which is then synced to this um, hosted instance. Uh, but as for deployment, that's pretty much it. We've we've deployed Mage uh, to Google Cloud. Um, now you can go build pipelines. You can build uh, for the project that your, um, uh, your final project for this Zoom camp, uh, make some really cool stuff. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you before I, I peace out is uh, how to tear this down, how to take it all apart so that you don't leave this running and then get a, a bill for like 25 bucks next month or something in Google Cloud. Um, so if we go back over to VS Code, um, the only thing you really have to do is type Terraform destroy and the password that you define for the database. Now this is going to go through all those, those services, the 21 services uh, that, it, that it initially created, and it's going to take them down. And so you can see one by one, um, Google Cloud is removing those same resources. Might as well take this time to enjoy my tea. It's uh, herbal tea, just in case you're curious. Um, we have, it's winter here. I, I live in California in the United States. It's really not, it doesn't really get that cold. I've never lived here before, but, uh, cold enough for tea, which I actually enjoy. All right. This might take a little bit. Um, we can come back when it's done, but for all intents and purposes, that's the conclusion of this section. Um, and sort of the conclusion of this, of this course, right? Uh, there's not much to
So that's how to um, stand up and tear down Mage using Terraform, using Google Cloud Project, um, and how to host Mage somewhere other than on your local machine, which is sort of the hallmark of a deployable service, a production-grade service. Um, if you're going to think about next steps, um, this might fit somewhere into your Zoom Camp project in the future. So it might be once you have Mage hosted, how do you then sync to a GitHub repository? As I mentioned earlier, how do you create CI/CD uh, processes that uh, enable uh, continuous integration and deployment? That's what CI/CD stands for. Um, how do you manage, maintain, scale um, your your cloud deployment? All of these sorts of things. But for this uh, module, for this uh, course, I think we've covered everything we're going to cover. Um, so thanks, it's been fun. Um, up next, we'll have a few wrap-up videos, but the brunt of the work has been done. You should congratulate yourself. This is tough stuff, um, but you're understanding it. You're understanding DevOps. You're understanding data engineering. Um, you can do it. You, if you put your mind to it, there's always a solution. So uh, don't get too down if this is taking a little while or if you've had to go back and look at the videos a few times. Um, it's getting done. So congrats, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.